Hello, welcome back to our channel. I'm Gabs, one half of Slip Slip Sis, and I'm coming here with a like post challenge intro. So I already did the challenge and my initial plan was to do 30 scrunchies in 30 days. Well, I started out strong. It was going super great. And well, you can find out what happens. All right. I'm going to now record the second part. Hello, it is day 10 of the 30 scrunchies in 30 days challenge that I've created for myself. And I am still on scrunchie number eight because this scrunchie is taken four days. I'm, it is Thursday. And I've been working on the scrunchie since Sunday because it has all these little loopy loopy thingies. And yeah, I keep getting bored and quitting. So I'm behind. But I think I can catch up and I'm just not going to do this little loopy pattern again because it clearly takes me way too long. But I've got another pattern that I think is going to work and it's going to go pretty quick. I do have my next yarn that I'm planning on using and it's this really um, nice like velvety, velour-y color. So I think that's going to be really nice too. So hopefully I can catch up. I can finish day eight and do day nine and ten today. So I am back on track. Um, yeah. That's where I've landed in the challenge. Hello, back with a morning check-in. This is my check-in for day 12 of 30 scrunchies in 30 days. And I have to say, it's not going that good. Um, I'm getting kind of behind on my scrunchie making, mostly because I fell behind on day 8, and then I've just lost all steam on it. And now I have a design, actually two designs, that are quite large that are due at the end of September. So I'm trying to get them blitzed out and ready. Yeah, and they're both mostly knit flat. So I'm a much slower knit flatter than a knitter in the rounder. So we'll see how that goes. Scrunchies, I'm still caught up. It's I'm working on day 12. I think I'll be all right to stay where I need to stay on it and stay caught up, but it's not going as well as I had hoped it was. I think it was it's honestly day eight that it, because it took me four days, I got really discouraged by it because I was like, this is supposed to be a fun, easy project. And I'm like forcing myself to knit this one scrunchie. It, and it was just the pattern choice that I made because it was like a million single crochet uh, chains. So it was like chain 10 looped and each each single crochet had to get three of those chain loop thingies in it. So it ended up being like 400 of chain tens and I was just like over it and it took forever. And then I got tired of the color and I'm just like, oh, didn't want to do it. And then I forgot to film for like a week because school started and things have been hectic since I uh, started school. If you are new here, I'm Gabs. Yeah, it's been 11, 12 days and I haven't introduced myself. Um, I'm Gaps. I usually knit. I like to challenge myself. So this month I am crocheting 30 scrunchies in 30 days. I'm falling behind on day 12, but that's okay. And I am a high school teacher who recently started school. I actually started school on August 2nd. So I've basically been doing these scrunchies every day that I'm in school, which has been challenging because I've met with some challenges while teaching. I know you're here for the knitting content, but um, my uh, storage unit, I'm a drama teacher, my storage unit got broken into. Um, so a good majority of our stock of wigs that I used for the musicals was stolen. So I ended up with a lot more work than I had anticipated these past couple days. Um, just inventorying, filing reports, uh, figuring out how much more money we need to fundraise this year because I am a public school teacher in California and the funding we re receive from the school district is not enough to cover the full cost of a musical. Um, it covers, in previous years, it, it covered about 1% of my budget 
In previous years, I got about $120 to put on a full-scale musical. This year, I'm hopeful that with some new Title uh, Title I funds and some new propositions that were passed, it'll cover about half of the cost of my musical, So, but I'll still be short about three or $4,000. So, um... There's fundraising to do, especially when your stuff gets stolen. You have more added expenses. So there's that too. So I'm, I've definitely decided I'm going to sell the crochet front trees that I've made. Um, I host a little maker's fair uh, in the springtime and we're hoping to do it in the winter. So I'll just sell the crochet scrunchies, um, hopefully make a little bit more money for the drama program and get us kind of back on track. Anyway in with you later. So it is August 18th and I have decided that I am done with the 30 scrunchies in 30 days challenge um, because I honestly got bored of making scrunchies and nobody is doing this challenge with anybody with anybody but me. So I figured if it wasn't bringing me joy maybe I should just shouldn't do it. So I have changed the plan to 15 scrunchies in 15 days, and I totally finished that. That was fine, and that was pretty good. It, I did like making scrunchies. It was honestly that scrunchie on day eight that really just, like, took the wind out of my sails. It just took too long, and then I felt like I was behind and that I was forcing myself to do it. So... That's where we landed with the 30 scrunchies in 30 days. It is now 15 scrunchies in 15 days. They were actually pretty easy to make and I enjoyed it. I'm in my classroom, I'm back at work. So I have actually no scrunchies to show you right now, but figured I would check in and tell you what the end of it looked like. I did experiment with a couple different scrunchie patterns that I really enjoyed. And I have a favorite that is like an amalgamation of a couple of the ones that I did. So I think I'm gonna write it up just as like a free thing on Ravelry, um, cause I haven't seen it on the internet. It's kind of, it's the same but different from a couple of other patterns. Cause like I'm not, you're not reinventing the wheel with making scrunchies. Like it's the elastic band, you crochet around it and then you do, in, you increase crochets to make it ruffly. Like, this is by no means an original idea of mine. Um, so my plan is to hopefully do a video rundown, which we'll, you'll probably see next, of all of my scrunchies and how, what I felt, how I felt about them. And my sister is in town. All right, it is the time for my scrunchie rundown. I have crocheted 15 scrunchies um, and I'm gonna share with them share them with you beginning to end. So I started out with this color of scrunchie. This was the very first one that I did. It is a cotton yarn and I did double crochets around and I squished as many double crochets in as I could and then I did two rows of single crochets. So I really liked how this one turned out. It makes me think of Barbie. I like modeled them all on my wrist and I thought this one came out really great. I just didn't like having to crochet so many double crochets onto the loop. So the next one I did, I decided to try something different. Um, and then I did this one. I did all these like orangey ones, which all came out similar, right? I squid, I did double crochet again on this one, but then only did one row of single crochet, which I actually think the rainbow one had a much better ruffle. And then I continue, so then I did this again, adding in the double, the two rows of single crochet. These are all cotton yarn that I got from my students, uh, scraps from their house that they didn't want. Um, this is single crochet with, du with double crochet on top. So like these are the reverse of each other. Let's see right? Double crochet, then single crochet. And this is single crochet, then double crochet. Kind of turned out the same. So these were all okay. I was, they came out all right, but they weren't that like ruffly bits of scrunchie that I really, really wanted to have. So then I, what else, which one did I do next? Then I did this one, 
which is this is when I also quit weaving in ends. This one I tried to squish even more, but it still wasn't doing like the ruffling that like the quintessential ruffling of scrunchies. I did this on a road trip, which is why none of the ends got woven in. And then I was like really low on yarn. So I thought I would try something else. I thought I would try like this like flower power version of it. And I did single crochets all the way around. And then I did, I think I did two slip stitches, a single crochet, two half doubles, single crochet to kind of create this like loop thing, which I actually think kind of looks cute. Um, so it looks nice on your wrist. I liked this one better than the other ones. So that's where I was. That's six scrunchies in. And then I started to do some Googling to find other scrunchie patterns because they really weren't doing what I wanted them to do. Um, I really wanted that ruffle scrunchy business. So I found a different one and I achieved it with this one. It's a really ruffly looking scrunchie. The, it's like that quintessential look that I was hoping for. This one is a mix of two yarns. See, this is the rainbow. And then when I ran out, I just popped in this kind of blue orange one. So I made this one and I was like, all right, finally got the ruffles that I want were good. So that's number seven. So then I decided, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to sample a bunch of different scrunchie patterns. So I found a bunch and then I was like, oh, I'll do this one. It's so cute. And it is so cute. It's like one of those ruffly, crazy scrunchies, but this one took me four days to make and I loathed the process. Like it took me the length that it takes me to knit an entire pair of socks to knit this one scrunchie. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not having a good time. I'm grouchy with my scrunchie and that is not the point. And this, this is the scrunchie that broke me. The scrunchie that broke the whole challenge actually because it took me four weeks. So I finished it. It's cute. Like it's cute. It's a really cute scrunchie, but would I make it again? Absolutely not. It just wasn't worth it. It wasn't enjoyable. It was, you know, so I finished this and then I was like, okay, I'm never making this again. So I went back to the scrunchy style like this because I really ended up liking it. So then I was like crocheting around and I was like, cool. So this was scrunchy eight. So then I did nine and then 10 and then 11, then 12, then 13. And then I was bored because all of these are exactly the same and the exact same color because I was trying to use up my cotton scraps. These are all cotton scrap scrunchies. So I was like, oh, I've just done five in the same pattern, in the same color. But really I had actually done seven in the same pattern and I had done this beast. So I'd been working for like a week and a half with this same color cotton yarn. That wasn't really my favorite colors in the first place because if it had been this yarn, this rainbow, I probably would have had a much better time for this color because I'm, I'm a bright color girl. So these are fine and I did these. So then I was like day 13 and I thought about it and I was like, I'm dreading making scrunchies. Like I'm straight dreading it. Why am I doing this challenge? If I'm not having a good time doing this challenge, nobody's making me doing it. Nobody's making me do it. This is a hobby. Why don't I just stop making scrunchies? But then I thought it might be unlucky to stop making scrunchies on day 13. So I was like, okay, well I can get to 15 because that's only two more scrunchies. So I kicked my feet around for like two days because I really didn't want to make any more scrunchies, but I had a little bit of this yarn left. So I got it together and I knit or I crocheted this scrunchie, but I'd gotten almost all the way around it and ran out of yarn. And I was like, I don't have any more of this cotton yarn. And I'm absolutely not buying more of this cotton yarn because cotton yarn isn't my favorite to work with anyway. So I tore it out. And then instead of doing double crochets for the ruffly bits, I did half doubles. So then I yarn chickened it and ended up with this amount of yarn left and was like, sweet, done. So at this point, point eight of my 14 scrunchies were out of the same yarn. And I was like, 
So I decided to treat myself and make myself this luxury scrunchie, which granted, if I had started this, I probably would be still going uh, with my 30 scrunchies because this one's so pretty. It's like that velvety fabric. It came out exactly the way I wanted it. It came out really nice and it was really easy and really enjoyable and it's exactly what I wanted in a scrunchie. So it took me 14 scrunchies to make one scrunchie that I absolutely love and enjoy and I would make more of these. I would absolutely make more of these. All the other ones, not so much. Cotton yarn for scrunchies I think is not for me but I think working with cotton yarn in general is not for me so maybe that's it but this is like that um kind of fluffy velourish kind of fab yarn that you get from like joanne or michaels or something like that i had just some extra scraps that were donated and they weren't enough to make hats or anything um i would be interested in doing these with like the juicy couture yarn that's at joanne chaley sent me a instagram post i think about it and she's like i'm gonna go try this because i went to high school in like 2005 to 2009. So Juicy Couture was a really big thing, but for some reason I didn't really own any of it. I don't know if it wasn't my style or I don't know why, but I didn't own any of it. But I remember it being so popular and it being like the height of like cool to own Juicy Couture things, at least in San Leandro, California in 2005 to 2009. Um, so maybe if Chaley buys it and we've got some extra scraps going on with it, maybe I might do. But that is my 15 scrunchies in 15 days, which I think it was really ended up being like 15 scrunchies in 17 days because I had a little bit of a temper tantrum and didn't get scrunchies for two days, but we're just going to pretend those two days didn't count. So that's what I've learned. I will write the pattern for the scrunchie that, for the scrunchie the luxurious scrunchie that my daughter just learned that word. Lottie says everything is luxurious. Um, I will either write it or put it in a blog post or copy and paste the blog post where I found it. I can't remember where I got this one, but this is the scrunchie that if you're going to make a scrunchie, you make this one. Not this one. I mean, if you like this one, yes, of course do, but not this one. So the next step in my scrunchie making process, because I don't actually wear scrunchies. I don't even have a scrunchie in my hair right now. It's a clip. It's a claw clip. Um, is I'm going to, my drama program um, runs a thrift shop. So once I weave in all these ends, I am going to put them into the thrift shop and I'm going to sell them for like a buck or two and hopefully make $15 for our drama program. But that is, thank you so much for joining us, for joining me. This is my 15 scrunchies in 15 days plus two because I had a temper tantrum. Anyway, um, coming up, we have a the San Diego yarn crawl vlog as well as our usually bi-weekly podcast. We podcast every two weeks as well as I'm going to try and do a 30 socks in 30 days challenge which I don't think I will quit because I already know how to make socks. Like I'm not learning a new pattern and I've done it for a while. So I think that will be okay. But I also had this idea to do a hundred socks in a hundred days, which feels ludicrous, but also kind of awful. So let me know what you think about that. Anyway, talk to you later. All of the scrunchies in full there unwoven in glory that is this afternoon's time.